Hi, my name is Merlin, and these are the three reasons not to do a boudoir session. The first reason not to do a boudoir session is because somebody is at really pressuring you into doing a boudoir session. Um, there's the, the boyfriend that's saying, oh, I, I need it, I want it, and you're not comfortable with the session, so you, you, this happened before that a, a girl booked and for the boyfriend because the boyfriend was asking for it and when she was here she didn't like she brought the sexy outfits and everything but she felt really uncomfortable she kept saying oh i feel so hoochie and stuff like that so that was no matter how much i i tried to say you, you look great mm, that she didn't feel like herself and so that's one of the big things like if you, if somebody's pressuring you no this type of boudoir photo boudoir session is for it has to come from you uh you have to want it <laughs> if you if you want to try something like a little bit sexy you can try you just booking a glamour session and like you still have you get your makeup done you have you get to, to wear a pretty dress and you don't have to show anything like uh, even some photos like that that have a little bit of more of a cleavage or a push-up bra and stuff like that they look pretty and sexy so so don't get pushed into a boudoir session that you're not comfortable with and number two is I know a lot of people like this you don't have photos of yourself you hate the camera you have a picture <laughs> of a cat in your profile photo on Facebook. You really run away from anybody who's taking a photo out. You really don't like the way you look in pictures, so you don't have one. And that's perfectly normal. <laughs> like, I don't like 80% of the pictures that I have in my phone. <laughs> I take so many. But, and then, oh, the people, the ones that people tag me in, I'm like, Anyway, that's the story for another day. But I, I think in this case, you everybody needs a picture for something like LinkedIn or job or headshot. So book a headshot session. They're not that expensive, and and a good photographer will make you feel comfortable. And maybe you get at least two pictures that you really really like. And you know what? Like I mean, be have a photo for not just for you but for for your friends for your family for your kids something that they can display or see or you know remember you by if you want to get that bit. <laughs> sorry i'm mexican so i'm like the other day thing yeah so yes have a nice photo of you and the, the third one is you have really high expectations of photoshopping i know people that um I have booked me and requested, you know, oh yeah, can you remove this tattoo? And I'm like, yes, I can if it's tiny, but like if it's a massive one, I have to charge extra. Um, so tiny ones are okay. <laughs> but there's also people that, oh, can you make me like they're this color and they want to look like Kardashian tan. So I'm like, nah, it looks fake. And it does really look fake. So like, there's just don't. The, the, then or other people that have asked for a bigger butt like I can talk a little bit like the waist and make like a little bit more of an hourglass figure but don't expect a Kardashian butt <laughs> if you don't have one and so those type of things so what I do do is like I remove any blemishes uh, bruises uh, pimples <laughs> you don't want a pimple in your photos um, I, I do do a little bit of contouring. Um, I kind of, but the way I shoot, you rarely see any uh, uh, stretch marks or anything. So it's kind of like they're soft and blurred. And, and those type of things, no problem. I can also, in the summer, I get a lot of uh, girls that I need to match their arm to their tip belly because the arm is six shades darker than the belly, right? So, and if you're wearing a two-piece, you kind of feel like your stomach is glaring <laughs> white so especially if you're not used to wearing bikinis out there or if you had you spend a Saturday gardening of course I can you know remove that that uh, t-shirt mark but just don't expect it <laughs> and yeah so 
those are my reasons to not book a boudoir session, book a glamour session or a headshot session instead. I just to get a couple of nice pictures and um, you 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 just get a couple of nice pictures because you need them. <laughs> Everything's online. Everything's out there. And my last thing is just. Do it if you're doing a boudoir session, do it for you. Use your husband or your anniversary or birthday as an excuse, but do it for you. And that's it. I'm hoping to record more videos. I'm gonna get the hang of this, I promise. Uh, YouTube. Oh, subscribe please. <laughs>